Lisa, I'm going to pick you up and body slam you, and God's going to heal you, all right? He's in the healing business, ain't he, church? God is still working miracles. 2 Kings, the fourth chapter, God bless you. So glad to be here again, and tell somebody I got to have a word from the Lord. You know, when you're getting on shouting and screaming and dancing, it's the word that's going to keep you alive. Is that right? I believe it's over there in 119, 11 Psalms. Say, thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. See, the more words you get in you, the more the devil not going to bother you. So the devil don't mind you singing and shouting and screaming and bucking and squalling and rolling all over that floor. But he don't want you to get no word in you. Because when the enemy comes in like a flood, good God from on high, the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a what? That standard is the word of God. That's the only thing the devil is subject to. He don't care nothing about how you speak in tongues. You can get a red handkerchief. You can get olive oil. You can get miracle spring water. You can do all you want to. The only thing the devil is going to respond to is the word. Say amen. Tell your neighbor, get back to the word. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come. Is that what your Bible say? Yeah. I'm not going to hold you long. Look at the neighbor next to you. Say, neighbor, yeah. the creditors are coming. Yeah. Tell somebody on the other side, the creditors are coming. The credit. Find you somebody way across the room somewhere, way around your room. Tell them, I don't know what he's talking about, but the creditors are coming. God bless you now. Give me about 300 folk that just believe God talked to me to just shout, Glory! Sit down. Bless you. Uh, don't have much time. Let me get you in and get you out. In light of what's going on in our economy, we see we have now a president by the name of Barack Obama. We're so glad that God has made him our president. Uh, in light of all of these things, we see that right now America is in one of the greatest crises it has ever been before. Anybody who goes to this church know that when I was here last year, I prophesied and told you all how bad things were getting ready to get in America. I told you how the banks were getting ready to collapse and all these horrible things were getting ready to happen. And now we see these things coming to pass. One of the confusing things that are going on in our economy, though, is they're telling us that we are in debt, but they're not telling us who we are indebted to. Uh, they're not telling us if we owe Afghanistan, if we owe Iraq, if we owe China. We don't know who we owe. We just know that we're in debt. We see here in Second Kings, the fourth chapter, you have a woman who the Bible declares that she's in debt and the creditors coming to get her two sons. What is amazing about this text is that the woman feared the creditor, but she respected the prophet. Uh, what's wrong with us right now in the body of Christ, there are a lot of us who have more fear, glory to God, for the creditor, for the mortgage, for the bank than we do for God. There are more of us who are more concerned about what the banks are saying and what CNN is saying and are not concerned about what God is saying. I don't care what news you look at, that's not your news. Your news is my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Your news is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Your news is my God I feel like preaching. And we know that all things work together for the good. Now you got to believe that. You can't just say that but you got to believe that. That word work together comes from a Greek term sunageo. That word sunageo is where we get our English word synergy from. Synergy is two opposite components coming together to work on the same project. Somehow God knows how to make your good and your evil come together and work for you. What's wrong with you is you're trying to get rid of your enemies but God's going to use your enemies to work. I ain't got no church in here. To work for you. Slap your neighbor and say I need some more enemies. I need See, if you, if you don't have no enemies, you won't have no table. I ain't got no church. I said, if you ain't got no enemy, you won't have no table. Because he's going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your... So anyhow, we see here 
that what's going, what's going on right now is some people are more concerned about what's happening in the stock market and what's concerned about what's going on TV. But that's not our news. There got to be something on the inside that lets you know in the midst of everything that's going on, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. You got to believe that 23rd chapter in 19 and numbers that lets you know that God is not a man that he should lie if God said it he's going to bring it to pass you sitting up worrying fussing and cussing because you lost your job because you lost your house baby what you fussing for God ain't doing nothing but setting you up to walk into the greatest miracle of your life because people going to try to understand how you still living in that house and ain't got no job how you still driving that car and ain't got your job but you going to say I serve Jehovah Jireh he's the Lord that will provide I need somebody to go run to three people and say my God is Jehovah Jireh he's Jehovah yeah they 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 she feared the creditor but she respected the prophet. Who are you respecting? Who, who are you believing? Glory to God, I don't care what's going on when God sends a man of God into your life to speak a word. Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, verse 20 declares, believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established. But believe in the prophet and so shall you prosper. By God, whenever God is getting ready to send a word into your life, matter of fact, I feel like preaching. Whenever God is getting ready to bring change in your life, he always sends a prophet and I come to tell somebody in here the reason I'm here is because you here and everything about you is getting ready to change I got everything about you is getting ready to change all right so uh, what's also awesome is the creditor comes to get more than what she owed because I, I suppose she probably owed some money. But they didn't come to get the money. They came to get two sons. See, this is for you all that think you can play with the devil. See, don't let him ride because he might want to drive. And when you think that you're only playing for a little while, see, the devil is always playing for keeps. I ain't got nobody. See, you can't play with the enemy. The thief coming but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The devil ain't studying you. He don't care about how pretty your weave is. Or he don't care how much you pay for your glasses, for your pocketbook. Or when the devil comes after you, he's playing for keeps. Come on, say man. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't play with the devil anyhow I, I gotta go anyhow what happens is she go the prophet comes because remember now she's in trouble and when you in trouble if what you doing ain't working you need to listen to somebody I mean you know the Bible says that a poor man's wisdom is despised. That means that a poor man can have the wisdom to save the whole city. But won't nobody listen to him because he's what? See, I got a problem with people who always got the answers but ain't got nothing. I'm going to get in trouble. You always got the answer. You always telling everybody how they going to do this and how to do that but ain't nothing producing in your life. If what you saying work, you ought to do it on you, baby. And make, I ain't got no. Okay. Um, so, um. The prophet gives a command and he say uh, the same thing that he does the same thing that Obama does. Because the creditor now, the, uh, the, the prophet is trying to keep the creditor from coming. 
So the prophet does the same thing that Obama does, and maybe Obama got his answer from the Bible. Because any CPA, any accountant, any 